Any individual's consumption decision has a dual nature, just like firms when analyzing production duality. Indeed, consumption duality can be solved using either utility maximization or cost minimization solutions. Let's review both methods. We can either fix a budget and obtain the maximum utility from it, which is known as the primal problem, or we can set a level of utility we want to achieve and minimize cost in what is known as the dual problem. In its mathematical form, the primal problem can be formulated as an equation where the utility u for a given good x is maximized subject to a monetary constraint such that the price p of the good multiplied by the amount of good x bought is lower or equal to our income, here m. On the other side, the dual problem is noted as the minimum price P of the amount of good X bought subject to the utility that derives from the good such that it fulfills the amount of utility we want to achieve from it, U bar. Nevertheless, these general equations are slightly modified so that they are more suitable for real-world applications and graphical representation. Indeed, it is easier to solve these problems by looking for equality rather than trying to solve inequalities. Now let's see their graphical representations. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of good x1 consumed, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the amount of good x2. From the primal problem approach, if we know an individual's utility function, and we know their budget, we have the two restrictions necessary to maximize their utility. This can be done graphically, with the point where budget and utility function meet defining an optimum, as shown in this first graph. However, if we think about it, we don't normally have a fixed budget for most purchases. We have a certain utility we expect to derive from them, and we hope to spend as little as possible. For the dual problem, it is utility that's fixed as a restriction, and cost that we can play around with. Therefore, we'll choose to spend as little as possible to reach the desired level of utility. The dual problem can also be solved analytically, by using a series of substitutions and theorems these may come in handy when we need to solve the dual problem while having only the solution to the primal problem. First thing to know is that by solving the primal problem or the dual problem, we end up with Marshallian or Hicksian demand functions, respectively. The primal problem solution corresponds to a Marshallian demand equation, which depends on the prices of all the goods and income. The dual problem solution corresponds to a Hicksian demand equation, which depends on the prices of all the goods and utility. These are also called compensated demand equations, since they hold utility as a constant. Now if we substitute a few variables, we can come up with the indirect objective functions of each problem. On the one hand, if we substitute the optimal variables in the primal problem, we obtain the indirect utility function, being this function u bar that specifies utility as a function of prices and income. It's worth mentioning that the indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero in prices and income. On the other hand, if we substitute the optimal variables in the dual problem, we obtain the cost function, being this function m that specifies cost as a function of prices and utility. All these equations have a few similarities and tricks that can be used in order to move from one to another. For instance, the Slutsky equation relates Marshallian demand functions to Hicksian demand functions. It can also be used to determine the type of goods being analyzed and to determine the income and substitution effect. Also, we can rearrange or invert utility and income to obtain the cost function from the indirect utility function or vice versa. We can also use substitution in order to get the demand functions using the indirect objective functions. If we substitute the indirect utility function in the Hicksian demand function, we get the Marshallian demand function. And if we substitute the cost function in the Marshallian demand function, we get the Hicksian demand function. We can also work backwards from the indirect objective functions to get the Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions by differentiating the indirect utility function with respect to P while holding utility constant and rearranging, we get Roy's identity which can be used to obtain the Marshallian demand function from the indirect utility function. By differentiating the cost function with respect to P, we get the Hodling or Shepherd's lemma, which can be used to obtain the Hicksian demand function from the cost function. As we've seen, consumption duality can be understood as a coin. Heads, the consumer tries to maximize their utility subject to a given monetary restriction. 
or tails, the consumer tries to limit their expenses subject to a desired utility level. Either way, the problem can be easily solved, especially when analyzing and properly using Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions.